All right, I just want to welcome you guys to week number two. Week one uh, involved a lot of, like, orientation stuff, and it involved one piece of content. Um, this week we have two complete topics, one complete hardcore bio lab, and all the other pieces that we saw last week as well. So uh, definitely get started. You guys had some awesome schedules. You need to make sure that you're sticking to your schedules. Uh, let's take a look at, there's a couple things that are different this week that I just want to highlight for you. I've already put out an announcement, and so some of this stuff is redundant, but I just want to make sure that everybody's hearing me. And teachers always think that if we say it, then you heard it. But if we don't say it, maybe you didn't hear it. Okay. Here's your to-do list. Every week, you know, I'm, I have, it's the if you don't hear me say it, then I didn't actually say it, fear. And so maybe I'll get over this as um, I become more comfortable teaching this online class. So you guys can definitely offer me feedback if I'm being really redundant with the videos and the announcements and the different places where you have all the information. Let me know because I, um, I don't want to be redundant for lots of reasons. But um, I do want to show you some of the things that are unique this week. First of all, if anything is new, I am going to discuss it or mention it in this to-do list. So don't look at the to-do list and be like, oh, yeah, I already saw those pictures last week, so it must not be important. Um, it is. Like, go ahead and read through it and make sure that you're like, oh, yeah, okay, there's nothing new there. Um, I want to encourage you to take good notes. And this part, like if you are not taking, if you're not in there taking notes like you would in a face-to-face -face class, then you're doing something wrong. Like you need to slow your roll, slow down the video, whatever, but be sure you're taking good notes. And uh, you've got two video lectures this week. And the chemistry of life is related to our lab. So whether you do the lab first or the lecture first, they're going to inform each other. So there will be pieces of the lab that won't make sense until you watch the lecture. There will be pieces of the lecture that will go, oh, after you um, do the lab. I'm switching up the Muddy Fun chat just a little bit, and I want to address that with you. This time, and let me see if I, um, oh, look, I did. I brought it up here. So this time I have a little bit more description in the header, but I want you guys to handle it a little bit differently. And I, I'm doing this because I, I need more interaction than we got last week from the muddy, fun conversation. My goal is that this replicates an in-class discussion. There are things that happen during class time when I am with my students in the flipped classroom that um, definitely did not happen last week. And so I need to make sure that you guys are thinking about stuff and that you're talking about stuff and clarifying misconceptions quickly. So what I did is I actually posted some questions in there. You do not have to address any of them. You don't have to, and probably if nobody addresses any of them, I probably won't do it like this anymore. My thinking is this is an example of a question that I would post to my face-to-face -face class, and then we would talk about it. So people would post responses, and, um, and then we would identify places where there are misconceptions. I, I would like to think that you would be willing to interact with these questions, and they provide a little bit of structure to this discussion. But again, if you're like, I don't feel like answering that question, or I feel like I already know the answer to that question, um, that you, you don't have to discuss. But it's actually an easy way to engage in a meaningful way with this discussion board, so it's an easy way to earn your points. Now, the other thing that I would like to request is that if you, you still have the option of posting your own questions, and if you would use, I, I wrote the instructions up there, like it's, it's header four formatting. If you would format your post with a title so that people can look at the title of a post and go, oh, that's something that I'm, that's a discussion that I'm interested in engaging in. That's something that I didn't understand. 
And then we can reply just to the piece that is interesting and necessary for you. My idea is that there are what? I think there are 22 of us at this exact moment. And having 22 people's worth of meaningful discussion to sort through can, might be overwhelming. So if you have something related to one of these topics that I've already posted, you can just reply to that topic. But if you have something that, oh, I really want to talk about this, this cool thing, or this thing that I learned, or this thing that's really confusing to me, just give it a meaningful title so that everybody else can find it and come in and participate if it matters to them. I'd like to try that and see if I can improve the value of my perception of the value of this discussion. I do not want, we don't have time for anybody to be jumping through hoops in this class. So I really would like to see you take advantage of this, thinking through, like, um, what it would be like if you were in a face-to-face -face class. Okay, so that's the change that I'm making on the Muddy Fun board. Now, Muddy Fun goes away Tuesday night at midnight. So you have to have engaged in this discussion board by then. And I'm doing that because I want to move you along. Like you can't spend too much time, um, you can't save it all till the weekend. Like you're going to be a sad, um, not successful human if you do that. So if you look at the module again, you'll notice that topic A, we got ready to go. Topic B, I'm not posting that until Tuesday. Tuesday, the, this next video will open, and I'm doing that on purpose again just to, pay, to force you to pace yourself. And you've got plenty to do. Like you really, this class really is, um, you're going to need to spend, basically check in with it almost daily in order to keep up with all the things that you need to do. So I'll publish all of that stuff on Tuesday sometime. The lab is ready to go. Now, something that I'm doing a little different in the lab. I am asking you guys to um, sign up for a time that you're going to take the lab. What, hmm, what am I trying to say? When are you going to do the lab? And I'm making your groups based on when you're going to do the lab. So, so far I have a rock in nine people out of 22 who have chimed in with when they're going to do the lab. The link to this uh, page is actually in the to-do list. It's right there, new lab groups. When you click on that thing, it'll take you to this page. All you have to do is sign up for when you're going to actually do the lab. If you find that your name is now in bold, I've put you in a lab group, and you're actually good to go. Like, you can begin having a conversation. Just because I have five people signed up to do the lab on Friday does not mean that you can't do the lab on Friday. So by all means, like, I don't care if 22 people are signed up to do the lab on Friday. Like, all I want to know is that uh, Sarah here is not in a discussion group with Lillianne because they're doing the lab at completely different times. And so I'm trying to sort of match you up so that you have someone to talk to. I actually don't even care how big the groups are. So I'm willing to be really flexible about um, where you go. But what's going to happen is that there are going to be people who don't sign up at all, and then I'm just going to put you into a group by default. I would like to keep the groups the same. Like I would like you to have your group for a couple weeks and, and get comfortable with each other and kind of get a plan going on. Um, rather than switching the groups up constantly. So my thinking is that if people, if I can match people up with when they are more likely to do the lab and then we can allow people to actually form relationships with the people in their group that um, the quality of what happens in those group discussions will increase. What else? Let's see if there's anything else that's happening in the module. Oh, look. Ha, ha. Nice try. The quiz and the external brain are not supposed to be published yet. Good thing I caught that. And always remember that you can give me a holla holla in the discussion board, and you can just hang with your peeps in the kicking it with the dog pound board. Okay, how you feeling? <laughs> awesome. You guys can do it. 
Give me a holler if you have any questions, and let week two begin. Woo, woo.